I'm Ihi Nation. Hello, guys. My name is Trent, and over here, we are going to be covering the Miami Heat offseason and heading into next year. So if y'all support the Miami Heat or your favorite team is the Miami Heat, make sure you drop that sub and turn on post notifications. Now, guys, in today's video, we are going to be talking about an interesting topic that has been going crazy over the Internet the last couple of days. Now, I seen this report maybe a week ago before this kind of got to light now that Patrick Beverly, you know, would be a good fit for the Miami Heat. Now, when I seen that, I said, eh, they're just talking Internet lies and I don't really believe the report. Well, guys, with this coming out from Patrick Beverly's own mouth, this is where it gets very, very interesting. So if y'all didn't know, Patrick Beverly has been on first take for a while now, you know, and it's a great it's great for him because it's a NBA player that's still active and he sees the perspective from, you know, pretty much the analyst and from an NBA player. And he talks real. We understand Patrick Beverly is probably one of the realest players in the NBA. So there was a segment they were talking about on first take. It was him and Jay Williams and the Miami Heat got brought up pretty much saying, what are they going to do with this team? What are they going to do to help Jimmy Buckets out? Are they going to trade for Donovan Mitchell? Are they going to trade for Bradley Bill? And this is where Patrick Beverly pretty much said, would they trade for Pat Bev? Obviously, pretty much making like, yo, I would love to play for this organization. Now, fun fact, his contract is up in 2023. So if he just plays for this season for the Minnesota Timberwolves, he will be a free agent. And the Miami Heat potentially could bring him in free agency. Now, for this year, would you trade for him? Like, what's the trade value for Patrick Beverly? Like, what would you give up for him on the Miami Heat roster right now? Personally, I don't know yet because I don't know Pat Bev's trade value. I mean, he makes about $13 million, so it's not too, too much. But I just don't know what I would offer. So I would have kind of wait for free agency the next year after that and then bring him on a deal. Now, Patrick Beverly would help with the Miami Heat a lot. And I feel like our defense will get even 10 times better. The intensity, the energy, the grit, the toughness would be insane. Because we've seen this postseason with Pat Bev on the Minnesota Timberwolves. I mean, he played incredible defense. His IQ is so smart. And on the offense end, he was low-key giving John Morant some buckets. You, you get what I'm trying to say? And it's like, Patrick Belly's not a bad offense player. He can score, he can shoot the three, he can drive and stuff like that. Obviously, he's not like Steph, Chris Paul, so, you know, players like that. But on the defense end, that's where he brings it all. And then it's always a plus where, you know, when Patrick Belly's scoring and giving you 10 points a night and all that good stuff. Now, this year for the Minnesota Timberwolves, Aaron's about 9.2 points a game, shooting 40% from the field, 4.1 rebounds, 4.6 assists, while shooting 34% from the three-point line, and Aaron's about one. 0.2 steals. So guys, just imagine Patrick Beverly, Jimmy Butler, and Bam Adebayo on the court. I mean, that's already great defense right there. And personally, in my opinion, I'm probably going to get hate in this in the comment section in the video, but I'd rather have Patrick Beverly, you know, in this series against that Boston Celtics than Kyle Lowry. Because Patrick Beverly, one, would have probably helped Jimmy Buckets out more. Two, would have been way better on the defense end. Kyle Lowry was such a liability on the defense end right there. And Patrick Beverly would have brought that energy and that intensity to get the Miami Heat over the hump. That's what you love from Patrick Beverly. So like I said, this report is going crazy. It's coming from Patrick Beverly's mouth that potentially you want to play for the Miami Heat. So you guys, I'm in the comment sections. How do you feel about that? And also, there's not too, too much heat news, but when it does, I will be the first one to drop it. The draft is around the corner in a couple of weeks, so it's going to get very, very interesting. I appreciate all the support lately has been saying. I love you guys so much, and I'm out. Peace.